The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Sometimes people are offended at God Himself. Now they feel offended. And they think that God is the offender. When we finished form five, then this young man took his results. He was really disappointed at the symbols. But he took his resource and you looked at his symbols he just said does god exist what is the answer yes. Yes. and god exists he's not dead he's alive but he feels so disappointed he opened his mouth said so does god exist i heard it and i looked at him and i turned this way. at that time you can't just go to the person and say god exists he may not even understand you that mood you have to give him some kind of break for him to process what he has said. But God is still alive. God is still alive. I'm sure someone is listening to me who is also asking whether God is still alive. This kind of ill feeling against God, this kind of displeasure flows from a heart that is disappointed in God. Obviously from lack of understanding of how God works or how they expected him to have acted. He acted contrary and they said no. I'm disappointed in the Almighty Himself. But I want to plead with you. Let us continually remain servants of the Mighty One despite the situation. Whether in good times or bad times, our attitude should be an attitude of gratitude to the almighty God. Because he never promised that the road will be easy. He never promised us that the road will be easy. I've always said that there are certain facts of life that we as believers and as humans we should eternalize. We have to internalize these things. That not all the people will love you. Hold it in your spirit. And then let it be a principle that not all the people will love you. Not all the people will understand you, we have said. Now the big one. Disappointment is a major fact of life. And then this one. Bad things happen to good people. But the fact that you are a good fellow does not mean that nothing evil or bad will ever happen to you. And that the world is not fair. You need to understand these things. Because your understanding of them 
we will leave you of some bitter feelings. Otherwise, you could be fighting everything and everyone, including God Himself. Job chapter 2. Now, from verse 7. Job 2 from 7. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and inflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And a certain free already enim koi na odi a kroboni ku tu tu yob free in nine asi e kusi na pampem. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. Na of a chen frebi se or the regina ho na otina en sumu. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. Now ni re bisa no say, What does you cura umudiye mwara? Do me nyanko pone we? I like this woman because she was specific. Curse God and die. Me ni jima mi wupa his son said, You won't trim no okan sa pe pe pe. Do me nyanko pone we? Look at the woman's understand. Now the woman feels that. What is going on is just coming from God. We don't have to spend time serving Him and worshiping Him the way you have been doing. Curse Him and die. Mama, no know what you are doing. I see you are saying you are oh how are you about to turn on? If you are not going to change, now you are not going to And since we caught us so soon, we will do it. No, no. Shall we bow our heads and pray that God will forgive us for some of the things we have opened our mouths to say? Mama, your mom pains the radis. One fan chaya no me biya. That God, about God, the Almighty One, and be careful of your heart. Be careful of your heart. What you are processing in your mind, be careful that you don't see that the Almighty is against you. Amen. Amen. So, verse 10. He replied, You are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. Some other versions say that he didn't sin with his mouth. And many times, the kind of things we say, God hears them. And that that's not pleasing at all. I told you, we are no more here. Can you be no? Onyango ponte point it. Now, yeah, any na bojo. Now, one day Job had some questions for God. There be na Job or one same be say be Emma Onyango point. But his challenge was how to meet God, and then so that you can actually ask him these questions. Now, when ona kaso be si Onyango point, we to me be sana sana sema. And Job representing many of us. Sometimes we are bitter, and we think that God. If I actually met God, I will, I will ask him some questions. Now, when I job, or Jina, you move beyond them, or today beyond the agreement, says he is here, Namia, he be busan in Zimbi. Job chapter twenty-three. Yes, Job, Omano, it is a do no me answer. Then Job replied, "I hope Jesus say, even today my complaints is bitter. His hand is heavy in spite of my groaning. And ne na ma bo bo diemu aye ding." Now, me pray, I a ding as in my penis. His hand is God's hand, is referring to. If only I knew where to find him, that is God. If only I could go to his dwelling, that is God's dwelling. Oh, say, Anka, me nyame hunu die, me hunu no no, na makudru die, ni tenabrea. I will state my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. Yes, can you imagine that? Anka, me. Mapping some argument <laughs> I mean, against God. No. And come see a scene and name a senior now may be Zibisano and Sam Arai. I'll find out what he would answer me and consider what he will say to me. And come in, who no a summer or the big woman, not me who no dear or beckon a terminum. Would he vigorously oppose me? No. He will not press charges against me. To me, do do a mu ana odi odi ne me be ham. There be asunko ana obeye amame. 
There the upright can establish their innocence before him. And there I will be delivered forever from my judge. <laughs> But let's listen to verse 8. But if I go to the east, he is not there. If I go to the west, I do not find him. When he is at work in the north, I do not see him. When he turns to the south, I catch no glimpse of him. You see, he wanted to meet him. He says, I can't find him. See, often times, people take offense at God. But because they cannot see God, to vent their anger on him, they displace it on anyone that is in the equation. I told you this story sometime. Fresh bride, and then fresh marriage. We just went home. And then the lady was misbehaving. Then the young man, all that he wanted to do, he felt like he was to hit, hit, hit the woman. Now we I broke in your ban. I dream one is a more bonny. I didn't say I said hit and he said beat. And so, <laughs> anyway, so choose the one you want. <laughs> but he said he just couldn't do that. So he was so angry. So he decided to just get out of the house. When he just opened the door, you saw a cat in front of, of the house. Oh, <laughs> he kicked the cat. So he get away from here. <laughs> what does the cat done to this young man? This is what we call displacement. They are angry at God. They can't find him. So if you are not careful and you are a pastor, you make any careless remark, then they, they attack you. Now, Genesis 4 from verse 3. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the first born of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Now, how about so at the new moon and Makai and the one what Dory be a be my never had any so Habel and a year dear. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. Now, so Cain and a year dear and dear. So Cain was very angry. At who? And his face was downcast. Hmm. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Now If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. He desires to have you, but rule over it. So we in here, anka we nimrenti ana na se wanye nu ye inti boni e butu opono na no na we chiri kwain ana eshe na anso diso. Now this young man, or uh, this young man is offended. We abranti e umuze bibi en kuya mano. But just taking offense is not a sin. Now so say o umuze at bibi e di abweti ano no enya boni o. Now you can be displeased about anything. We no me chwe mwe shi e mu bia abeti mi e bibi e ti ao. But when it turns into bitterness, now so say we ko we we ya udia can be very dangerous. Abeti mi e hui e papa. So God gave him the hint. To nyango pong yina sutre. Be careful. Sin is patching at your door. Boni e butu upuna no. It is after you. Ena o shi shi. Rule over it. Now the next verse. Now 
Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Now Cain catched the Nunia say, I am caught a foam. Now Eba said, Well, what a foam? No King, sorry, Tia Nunia Abel, na Okumuno. This is what we call displacement. We and the HS will be a year be a Tia or not, brother, since I'm so no good. What did the brother do to him? Nunia Berman, a dear no Yetia. Was he the one to receive the offering? So or no, and an origin in summer for the Anwana. No, there be. But this Cain was angry at God. Now so na king nibu afu ni nkopon. And he displaces that on the brother. Or the say bufo no ko wie wie ni nua bema no so. Now killed him. Okumuno. So the offense now turns into bitterness and then he kills someone. Twa ahai sinti dua to no akwo wie ya odie na hwe die firi mo baaye. Now then the Lord said to Cain, "Where is your brother Abel?" I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? Ne bradi bisa Ken se e he e na wunua Abel wo na o se minim minua so hwefo enemy ana. So you can see from his reply that his anger is still at God. E tu hwe se de e o manyame mwai na o hu se ne bo afu awurade ye papa. Let us all be careful. Mum ye hwe ye hu ye. We can be bitter at the almighty himself. Ke to de bia o betumi ama wo bufu ye ko wie nyame kra so. Because of the way we think he should have acted. See, like Israel traveling through the desert, it could be rough and sometimes tough. But we must learn to rest in God in all situations. And not to be like the unbelieving Israel. They praise God when things go well. For them. They curse him when situations are adverse. I'll give you one example. When Israel had no water, you just look at their reaction. Numbers 20. Numbers 20 from verse 1. In the first month, the whole Israel community arrived at the desert of Zin. And they stayed at Kadesh. Then Miriam died and was buried. Israel for Munina Eba Sing Sreso, Bosomia Edi Kainumu, Na Omano Tina Kades, Na Miriam Wuho, Na Wusie Noho Ara. Now there was no water for the community, and the people gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron. Now they gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron. But they are not the supply of water on the wilderness. They knew the person to attack, but they didn't want to go to God. Then they displaced it on Moses and Aaron. Now, is you any more? Emma Asafono. Now, which yet here Moses and Aaron. They quarreled with Moses and said. If only we had died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Why did you bring the lost community into this wilderness that we and our livestock should die here? Now, man, no any more than No, I can say, I can't even go. I'm going to bring you in your own way. I'm ready any more. Yes, we will be. Now, I didn't. And I'm ready. I'm ready, man. Abba, it's ready. So, say, you may go away. Yeah. Yes. Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to this terrible place? It has no grain or figs, grave wines or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. Now, what can't you say? I didn't see an odd one, but do one more. A honomon, no buyer, what you think in our any war, not in Sue or Benomon, so above one. I'm sure this is the day that Moses. Maybe even in heaven does not want to remember. But you say day the beer and most be kind of nyaya and kadanum pama. Now when they had plenty to drink, listen to them. Ebrana in Sun Busua one nomino um yin tea won. Numbers twenty one verse sixteen. If you numbers it's if you mudun see an aircon. From verse sixteen. From there they continue to beer. The, the well where the Lord said to Moses, Gather the people together and I'll give them water. Now, 
Eurade kan ho asem echre Moses se bua oman no ano na mema wo nsuo anom. Then Israel sang this song. They are going to sing. E bring mu en a Israel for e to ayi dumi wo beto dum. When there is water they will sing. E so abade a wo beto ayi dum. When there is no water they will fight. Ke nsuo ni wo dia ntoko papa papa. Spring up oh well. Sing about it. E subura tue monye no so. About the well that the princess dug that the nobles of the people sank the nobles with scepters and staffs then they went from the wilderness to matana na esubra etitre tu ye na oman no mu mapoma funfunu ye what they are him poma and it won poma now we free stress so i call matania so when there's plenty they sing and he said no more do so a queer one don't have they fight and queer the air and you know it is this attitude of the earth that made them prone to the worship of baal because baal is supposed to be the goddess of fertility so they always want to live in that kind of life so that is why Israel was always tempted to worship this Canaanite god called Baal. Sa suban we and a ma Israel for a ya no kwa kosum abosum is an se bribia mono no wa shu se no ma ebeko ye amawo. A particular god called Baal. Na we no won abosum sum no and pimpi no na eku ye baal. Yeah, because she was the goddess of fertility. So he, they were always tempted to worship the God who will make them fertile, prosper them, give them all that they want at any time. Into the Bribian or Peso or Suminamia or Bemma or Nobai, any Norma, and no Brabo across so from. But we need to be content in all situations. So what new men in Emono as I say, you to me penis. Paul says to the church in Philippi, Small for Paul, catch there, sorry, I know what Philippo no. Now who brought him some gifts when he was in prison? Bro, what Nedia Demuna Nedia Fieno or the Achadia be brave? Philippians 4, verse 10. Mommy and Philippo 4, man, 18, 9, if you would do no echo. I rejoice. Greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your consent for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. And so many jake as here were a radimu say, Mo free as here with Jenny Ho, Mo Jenny Ho, now so when ya hokai. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. And yes, a yenti and American ye. If we say media, Messiah said, I sit in a beer and one me one, my penis so, no mama not do me so. Let us learn to be content, whatever the circumstances. Mummy and Sias are sitting a beer, your woman, a bedoy and so. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want i can do all things through him who gives me strength minim ambrasie na minim akonkosem die enso bribiara ne enuo me nyina akokwame ome ne ekom ne akonkosem ani hia die metumi ade nyina ye die ohye me den no emu be careful. Guard your heart. His grace is sufficient for you. Even in your weakness. Even in your ailments. You have been thrown out of your matrimonial home. You have prayed and prayed, yet this has been the result. But guard your heart. Watch your mouth. His grace is sufficient for you. At the end, he will orchestrate everything to your advantage. Does God exist? So, our God is alive. He never promised us that the road is going to be easy. But the promise is when you are in the waters, I will be with you. At the end of the day, He will bring you out safe and secure. In him. I hope you are not offended at against God. Because he's your strength and your redeemer. Let us watch our mouth. When we are displeased about situations. Let us guard our hearts. So that we don't become like Cain. Avenging. 
His brother. The Lord be with us. I pray that you watch over your heart. Watch over your mouth. Be careful what you think about. Our God is still alive.